What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic, man. Hey, uh, if you're thinking about becoming an owner operator, you're already an owner operator. You leased a truck, you bought a truck, you stole a truck, you borrowed a truck, you know, an IOU, you wrote an IOU for a truck, you acquired yourself a truck, right? Well, you need to know how much it costs you to run your business, your operation. Now, there are multiple ways to figure this out because one shoe does not fit all. One hat does not fit all. If you run over the road, chances are you're going to calculate your cost per mile, how much it costs you to run your truck per mile. Under my situation, I need to calculate, which I already know, how much it costs me to run my truck per day or per week or per hour. Um, and I already know what that figure is. So that's what I negotiate my rates on, right? So, but let's say that you're running over the road. You need to know how much it costs you per mile to run your truck. So when I talk about running your truck, uh, finding your cost per mile uh, and breaking everything down. So, you know, this costs this cents a mile. This costs this much a mile, like tires and insurance and um, tags your 2290, um, your phone, and all that kind of stuff, what you do is you take whatever that, all those numbers that add up to whatever they add up to, right? Now, you got to base your numbers off of something. So, let's say you base off $100,000 per year, but ain't nobody going to run 52 weeks out of the year, right? So, whatever that, now you got to go by what the, uh, I guess, if you don't have that figure, go by the industry average but you're probably looking at what, 42, maybe 40 weeks a year, something like that, right? Okay, we got that down. So you you get your number, then you take that number and then you, you know, do all your calculations and you come up with a number, how much it costs you per mile, truck payment, trailer payment, whatever else, fuel, everything else. And then uh, per trip, you can calculate how much fuel is gonna cost you and maybe tolls and how much food or something like that it's gonna cost you, right? Then you get your number, okay. Well, after you do all that, you figure out, wait a minute, it's gonna cost me $1.93 per mile to run my truck. Dollar three, so guess what? Now you need to average, I don't let the cat out the bag now, now you need to average at least $1.93 per mile to run your operation. So you may get a, a run that's four dollars a mile. You may get a run that's two dollars a mile. But at the end of the day, to run your operation at a dollar ninety-two a mile, that's just to break even and cover your costs, pretty much. You know, uh, your salary should be in that. Your salary should be in that, right? So you you need to average at least a dollar ninety-two a mile. Now, anything over that is profit if you did your calculations right. So that's how I run my business. I know this is a quick video. Hopefully you get what I'm saying. So let me, hold on, let me break this down. This thought just popped in my mind, right? So let's say you lease to a company and they take out, let's say 75%, which is the normal. If you've seen that other video that I just posted previous to this one with the trucking video from uh, back in the day, um, Average companies, the stuff was, they're still doing this lease purchase, not lease purchase, but lease on the company, uh, 25%, right? So let's say you, you take 25%, there's children up here on the bike. So let's say your company t pays you um, $2 gross on the load. You know, you're picking, they're giving you loads, the freight that they allegedly have that they're getting off of, you know, the big brokerage houses, but they say it's their own freight, right? So you get, uh, let's say they have you get two dollars a mile, gross. Now they take their their twenty five percent out, right? So now you're dead at dollar fifty. Okay, now you you take out your fuel and all that kind of stuff. You do the load. So how much are you at for that run? How much did you average per mile? Because I can tell you right now, if you if your operation costs you a dollar ninety three a mile and you're making anything less than that, uh, you're losing money. Now, you won't see it right up front. 
you'll see it, and, and if you're doing this consistently, you won't see it right up front. When you see it is, okay, I'm saving this money. I'm doing these runs. I'm saving money. I'm saving money. But you're banging after miles, two, three, four thousand miles a week, right? Oh, here comes tires. Up, oh, got to pay all that money. Here comes this. Here comes that. Up, oh, got to pay all that money. So all that money that you were saving, uh, you just spent that back out. So now you're almost back to square one. See, this is what these companies are doing, but they don't tell you that. And I broke this out. This last company that I left, I broke this out to him. I said, I got this game figured out. I figured this stuff out. And he didn't say nothing. The guy was talking to me. He was getting me, want me to stay, right? I was like, nah, it's not, mm -mm, no. He was trying to get me to stay. And just like I told you, I said, I broke it down to him just like that. You know what he said? He didn't have nothing to say because he knew it was true. <laughs> but, hey, I know ain't nobody going to listen to me because I'm a black man and I'm a, I'm a raisin in a tall glass of milk and I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a minority, but uh, <laughs> I just throw that out there, you know. Uh, Y'all have a good one. We'll see ya.